Ready to do this? Oh, ready to do you this. You and I make the decisions around here. <laughs> That's what I think about your spinny wheel thing. You told them to order it. Let's go. We're going for lunch. Dave and I didn't spin the wheel. We're just going to tell you what you eat today. It's a true DD dictatorship. <laughs> Bro, what did you hit? We can't go to lunch if you pop the tire. Dude, look at this. The cops are watching me, actually. They're very interested right now. Oh, what's going on over there? I don't know. Did Kara bring another car? Looks like a repossession. Someone's getting repossessed. Someone didn't pay their bill on their trailer. You have to be careful because, look, there's screws and stuff on oh, the ground. No... Yeah, you're right. I'm bad. Because if you get a flat tire, you almost have a flat we, don't tire have, right now. we don't have any other cars to drive. Oh, that's pretty low. Well. we'll make it, though. Can we please go, you guys? Come on. Seriously. I have to play now it's on. You had it off. You just turned it back on again. Tim, you're good at turning things on. I'm feeling a little warm right now, actually. Oh, yes. The Carrera Van GT, baby. By the way, you guys will be really excited because we do have a brand new hatch coming for this. And the second we get the hatch replaced and a few other little things, it's livery time. We have that image of the Carrera Van GT that one of you amazing yeah, sons of bitches DD fam sent us, and we will be converting the Career of NGT into a true DD livery inspired by whoever built that. And we'll be getting the NOS fixed. You ready? Dude, get in the car. Jeez, push it. Let's roll. Okay, actually, there's cops over here. I chill. How excited are you to see this thing with that livery on it? This is gonna be sick. Like, right? Proper. Wheels. Yeah. Proper suspension. Some suspension. We we'll have to make it. Yeah, I love it. Dude, the only the only stuff I could find for this van was like an airbag kit. What? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, slow down. Hold on, slow down. How's it going? Good, how are you? Someone lose their cart. Anything good on there? I don't know. <laughs> you have a good day. We I saw three guys you. push it out earlier. They just pushed it out and abandoned it. They don't want to talk. Dude, is it fucking Oscar the Grouch in there? See the little trash can on top? The little lid? That's crazy. Maybe he's gonna pop out real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oscar. Uh, do you know what that is? Straight other lockers. project cars. Yes, two. So what other car? Two? Yes. So you're a bit of a project car hoarder. Yeah. So you have the IS that you drive to work every day. I do. And then what else? Another IS. Really? Yeah. Are they different models or years or? One year different, but it's the same car. Same car? Yeah. And then what? So what's the other one? So you you have a second IS project car, and then what's the other project car? The other one is a Honda Civic, EG, just like Garrett's, but better. Really? <laughs> Damn! Threw it down I'm with the but better. <laughs> but better. Holy! So you crap. got the Civic hatch. You got the IS. Mm -hmm. So these are two current project cars. How long? Have these project cars been ongoing? <laughs> how, how Why are you have, laughing? How long have I known you, Tim? <laughs> Five, six years, since 2017. No. Because that's when I brought him on to work with me. No, the IS, the IS started. Hold on, hold on. Let's back this up. <laughs> you used to work for him? Yeah. And then you two-timed him and you worked for, for him? No, he uh, lost money and didn't have no more money. So now Damn! <laughs> oh, did you hear that? He lost money and didn't have any more money. Uh, Here's what he said. I never had money to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. lost the money that he never had. Yeah. So the current project cars that you have, the Civic Hatch and the IS, have been ongoing for how long? I'm gonna easy, go. easy five years. No, oh, easy no, five no, years. no, no, no. Why well, no, he's no, agreeing no. over here? No, right, so, so, so the Civic. Hey Tim, it's 2024 in a month. He's, ha he's had to. Uh, <laughs> he's needed to swap the rack on that EG for at least two or three years. The Civic. I've swapped the I, rack before. I got the Civic. Not on the car though. I got the Civic in 2021, and I finished building. Well, I almost finished building it. <laughs> oh, you cut yourself off there. And I almost finished building it in mid 2021. Tell then, me about its current condition. What, cur what's the current state of the uh, of each car? So the Civic is all done running, driving, but it, the AC doesn't work and the power steering rack is leaking. So I don't want to drive it. Copy that. Okay. And then the IS I started in 2020 yep. and it has a cage in it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Because I ordered the cage for him. What else did we get? We got a bunch of parts. 
We got the cage. We got like a Super radiator. Tech valve train radiator. Oh, you See? got the do me dirty in the middle. Get in, get in. Yo, Sean, Yo. you can't do you dirty, so now you can give up some dirt on Tim. Tell us oh, some God, stories dude. about Tim's driving. <laughs> oh, the look back. The look. Now you look scared. Look at this. Oh, shit. I'm coming in. <laughs> oh. All right. Story time with F7 is about to come. Tim's driving is um, ele elegant. Elegant? Yeah. Oh, that's a good word. That's like a ballet. It's like a clean yeah. line. Cut, cut to clip here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send it to you later. What, what, what track was he on? Oh, we were at Grange. The party track. The party, the party yeah. track. Oh, we've, been Grange. Grange. we've been to Grange, yeah. It's wild there. Yeah. No, no uh, getting to Grange is wild. Yeah, yeah you drift, road all the way yeah, through. You drift the, the dirt the road. Dirt, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Just Manji the whole road up. What was he driving? Uh, we both had stock KA S13s. Sick. Yeah. Cheap beater cars. He had a hard yeah, 40 horsepower. Cars. <laughs> Never. If that, dude. Nah, like a hundred. So yeah. what was the what was the goal of that day when you guys went to Grange? So the goal of that day was to crash into each other. Was two like, on purpose? I mean. If it happened, it happened. <laughs> well, I thought you said the goal was to crash into each other that day. We were trying to hit some Bump. sick tandies, and you know, you just end up crashing into each other sometimes. <laughs> it happens. Have you have you ever been drifting with Tim? Nope. I've never seen Tim put a car on track. You've never seen Tim on <laughs> track? And how long have you guys been together? Like that? been working for me. Like, like that? <laughs> four, four years. Four years? Almost four years. Aww. Damn. Yeah. So you let him drive ever, Mike? Man, it well, sounds like my relationship uh, with Dave. I'm like, hey, you could bring a car. <laughs> eh, it's cool. He's cool. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all right. Like, Dude, hey, we're, we're going to go to this event. It's cheap. Do I sign up? Nah, it's cool. <laughs> we're getting you on track, dude. <laughs> that's it. That's my whole goal now. Steering right. Eh, it's cool. It's even a car. Man, nah, it's all right. In my defense. Okay. You have no defense. <laughs> okay, seriously though, speaking of never driving, when are we taking you on track with the race car I bought you? I don't want it anymore, I don't like it. No! <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke! The audience was saying that I don't want to drive ever, I'm joking. But now I'm not into it. Where are we taking him, Michael? But on to Button Willow. Button Willow, yeah. I like that one. He likes that track, so it'd be a good, be a good place for him to go, because he already knows the track enough. No. I walk, I'm <laughs> No, that'd be a better one. Yeah, yeah. I like it when Michael has jokes. David, on the reel though, we gotta get you behind the wheel of this. And, mm. and, for fun, let's let Tim drive it too. Sure. I'm actually really pumped to drive that car. I love McLaren. I've driven out the parking lot. Dude, off camera, so much I just drive the parking lot. Slide around a little bit. Kicks what was the quick. video of you on the street with it? Oh. <laughs> I saw that video. I saw the video of you at night filming with one hand and you were like, I saw the stop sign and everything. And I was like, that's weird. I've never seen a stop sign on a, ra <laughs> on a racetrack before. Scumbag. You were being a scumbag in this. I, I truly love this car. Yeah, I can I see. The, the best part is the creak. You know, I was like, <laughs> yeah, why is it creak like that? It's the cage, I, right? it, no, I think it's the, uh, the suspension links. They don't have rubber anymore. It's like all s steel bearings in yeah. it. I think it's just kind of dry. So it's like kind of squeaky as you're... It's moving around. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. So we're going to take this. We're going to take that. To this Sooner point. or later, we'll have that done, ready too. Uh, and we're going to go do a track day. And I genuinely want to see the boys take a couple of laps in this. So if we go somewhere where there's a lot of space, right? Do you want Mark to drive this for you laps? I actually would like to see Mark drive it as well. You're going to What? <laughs> I don't even know if he'll fit. Mark! That's why it'd be fun. Let's try to stick Mark in it right Mark! now. Will Mark, Mark! Mark! Will Mark fit? Somebody get Mark. The best part is, imagine his size 16 foot in a running shoe trying to push the throttle and the brake at the same time. Thank, thank goodness there's no clutch pedal in this thing. Oh, yeah. Well, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't be able to drive the Evo, too. Yeah. It's also very expensive. Yeah. Oh, Alex Gintani is calling me right now. Oh, in the meantime, why don't we stick you in here? I've been in here. Well, well I can't we're going to put tunnel. you back in here. I can barely You've, reach the tunnel. You probably fit pretty well. Actually, the seat is fixed, isn't it? It is. And Dave has longer legs. Yeah, so I was kind of like, I was pretty tippy-toe driving you? this thing. That's really good. 
What do you think? Have you ever driven a car like this? Um, I drove it onto the trailer. Fair enough. <laughs> Have you ever driven any race car on slicks? Uh, no. My Civic has slicks, but I never took it out. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> now they're not slicks anymore. Now they're bricks. I'm saying, <laughs> from slicks to bricks. I'm seeing a pattern with you. We got to get you and your cars out. They're or like just sell them and invest all the money into something else. That's a good idea. <laughs> what, can you get? what can you get for four grand though? Whoa! Damn, four thousand dollars. Pop that off. Pop that collar. Ah! Oh, you almost ripped the wire right off too. No, 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 no. Okay, we're doing that. We're gonna take you and Mark, and it's gonna be a battle in a in a video of who can drive this faster on the track. That's hey. a question. You dropped it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You were just talking to your insurance agent? Yeah, I didn't really you ding your door. The, the claim that I have that's going on that's taking forever to get done. Damn. Okay. I have a surprise for you. Okay. I'm going to let you drive Dave's car. <laughs> All right, cool. That'll be fun. Where uh, am I moving it? Nowhere. All right. On a racetrack. Oh, that'd be fun. Do so, I, can I see if I fit first? It, that's what we're about to do. <laughs> so if you want, just throw that on the wing. Don't scratch the carbon. And let's see a size 16 foot try to push the throttle or if you can fit in the seat. And the best part, <laughs> I like how we're like, hey, don't worry about my Honda Civic with your door, but hold on. Yeah, it's Dave's Mike paint. drilled a hole in it. Yeah, but look, Mike did it tastefully. I filled the hole too. He also <laughs> filled it, yeah. Filled a hole. So, what are you doing? No, 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 what are you doing? That's what you did What are you doing? Dude, it's like, it's like a bear climbing into a cave. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Where do I, how do I move it up and down? You don't. You don't. Okay. It's, it's a race car. Yeah, it's still a street car though. Can you get your leg under the dash? Holy, Holy shit. crap, bro. Okay, I mean. You legit don't fit. Actually, actually. <laughs> well, I just had to get my feet underneath the stocks. Okay, now put the wheel on. Holy yeah, crap. Dude, you are huge in there. Well, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? Head clearance with the helmet. Oh, go get him a helmet. And we'll also get you to put it on in the car. <laughs> That'll be really good. <laughs> gonna get stuck. You want to strap him in too? Everything's well, let him get, let him, dude. Let him get the helmet on first. Here, see, see if he can put that one on. You fit medium large, yeah? No. <laughs> Not a chance. Here, just give it a shot. You be like. Yubi's getting the helmet. <laughs> okay. You're being oh, I mean, <laughs> sad bagging son of a bitch. I want to stop you listening too. <clears throat> no, we're not putting that in when he drives the car. It's slow enough for him to get out. <laughs> so, what we haven't told you yet, Mark, is we're actually going to let you drive this. We're also going to let Tim drive it. And we're actually going to see <clears throat> who is the better driver. Well, well, Tim will beat me, that's for sure. Why is that? Tim doesn't drive. He's, he's driven on track and I haven't. When was the last time we just found out Tim's not driven on track in like a, a decade? Yeah, yeah he has experience though. I mean, as far as I know, the red flag means go and the green flag means stop. And the, well, like, Mark knows the blue and yellow. <laughs> when was the last time you drove on track? You've done it. Though. Like four years ago. But you've done it. Not a grip event. Ah. How's that going? Was the last time you drove that day? Yeah. Oh, fellas, dude, get in there. Come on, you got it. Tuck your head back. <laughs> dude. It's a very claustrophobic experience, I have to say. D is it really? Oh, I'm also on the highest seat bracket. I think we could drop this down. We probably could. I think the seat is like on the floor. No, dude, it's got three. Three more mean, rungs. That doesn't mean it could go lower. Put, <laughs> put, put your helmet on and get in there. If you need to, take the wheel off again. I don't think I can get the helmet on in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that? I don't think I'm going to get the helmet on in here. Just going to try harder. Come on. Come on, you got it. It's a very got... claustrophobic thing. Is, yeah. is, is it, is it, it actually... It choked me on the way in. Legit? Is it kind of bothering you? Like it feels tight? Well, the, the sitting in here is not too bad. But with the helmet and you're like stuck like this, that's not very fun. <clears throat> well, the halo part of the, of the seat the help, it doesn't help either. There you go. You got it now. Oh, now you're good. Just, yeah. yeah, scooch back. Scooch, scooch your back. head back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the pocket. In the pocket. Okay. Check your blind spot. 
Dude, that's how I feel like, even in the Evo 2. My head hits that one part too. Is the window down or up? Uh, down. Want to close the door? Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, damn it. Watch out, move on. Out of his feet. <laughs> well, that's the real question is can you actually function the car because of the pedals and you have a size 16 bear claw foot? Can you put on like a size 12 shoe? Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, there's no way. You ain't driving this car. Dude, try to put your foot just on the throttle and not the brake. <laughs> Holy. Oh, Dude, go go put the put the flashlight down there and have a look. This is a big shoe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's not? Oh my god! <laughs> Do it like that. I don't know if it would even be safe for you yeah, to even try to drive it, this. I don't think it is. The problem is he can't get out quick if something happens. Yeah. Not because you're small. Ow! small. You get up. Apparently, there's stuff over my head that I should watch out for. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if. He can actually even get out of this. Okay, right, hold on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How long? How long are you gonna give him? Huh? How long are you gonna give him? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta time it. Alright, you know how to open the door? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a good. That's a good thing to know. Yep. Yeah. Call it. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Mark did. You don't take the help. <laughs> come on, come on, you got this. Yeah, it actually might be easier if you went out this side. 24. Mark's dead is dead. This is. He got the fire. Almost took the rear quarter panel off at the same time. <laughs> Why is he taking Dude, it I love that he's rolling around. 36 <laughs> seconds. He's dead. Well, no, not necessarily. He got out and rolled on the ground. He's wearing shorts. <laughs> Legs are a little extra crispy. Nine and a half. Ten and a half. Twelve. You know what size my 16, foot is. Twelve. You got my keys. Yes. Marco's. The shoe is really big. It's a big shoe. It and then he slid shoe. his foot out. But we're foot vans. Out. It's not too bad. And Tim, go, Tim goes, dude, your foot's as big as your shoe. <laughs> Guess what, Tim? That's how that works. That's, that's, uh, that's appropriate. <laughs> that's how that works, right? I you want to pull a little foot out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like the <laughs> Is that for a helmet? That is sick. Right? It's the same helmet that Max Verstappen wears. Same brand, yeah. Same brand. Same shape, right? Same shape. Actually, same size, too. Shut up. What? He's a size 57. Really? Yep. Same size. He just has the little arrow thing. We're going to get it though, right? Yep. Even though I don't drive in an open open top car, I still need it. So basically, so you're the, an F1 champion now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that title. We got to show Michael Essa. What do you think of the new helmet? It's pretty dope. Oh, I like the vents. Yeah. I wanted this That's because nice. it's carbon and it's going to match for now the Senna. And then the white one that I've been using, I'm going to send it away and we're going to get custom livery painted on it. Oh, so this will be my helmet in the intern. This will be good for karting too. Just to really flex on those little fucks at the, there you go. the kids. <laughs> Until they beat you by eight seconds. That's right. Oh, I, oh, don't worry. This helmet, they'll fear this helmet. They'll fear it. They'll fear it. Like hey, me. tried to pass me, huh? Bam! Damon Verstappen or what? That's pretty rad. It is rad, right? But the visor is cool too. It's like clear, but with a light tint. Yeah. yeah. It's cool because if you watch the onboard cam that they put inside yeah. Max's helmet and it has that weird tint to it, yeah, that's, that's because that's it's this it visor. Is. Yeah. And he wired it up for me. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So good oh, to go. That's, that's nice too. Proper. Nice purchase. Thanks. <laughs> well, DD fam, another beautiful day. Look at this. Look at this. This is why we love Southern California. But I am heading home today, back towards the snow and the cold. I'm excited to go home and see my family. My wife and my daughter were down here, but then they flew home a few days ago and I had a few more days of work to do. But today is my heading home day. Look at this, the trees with the different colors. I mean, at Avenue of the Arts here, if you ever get an opportunity when you're in Orange County to stay, 
at a hotel stay at this property because this water feature with the palm trees and the leaves changing color and then this gorgeous little patio down here attached to their restaurant and a bar on the front side it's just we love it that's why i've been here for going on almost five years staying at the same hotel call this my home away from home i'm just packing up um i have to run to the shop and uh check in on the boys just make sure they're all dialed in i finished packing up my stuff here my because race car hoodie my luggage throw my shoes on grab my bags and head downstairs put some heat in the engine of the huracan and check on them and then i will leave from the hq in an uber to the airport and i got two legs i do uh john wayne to vancouver that's where i go through my customs and all that and then from there i take another little flight uh to Kelowna where i live and then I get to see my pups and my wife and my dog, dogs, Roma and Dino. I'm excited to see them. They always, you know, nothing quite like when you walk through the front door. You know, your wife hugs you and your child hugs you. But something about animals. Dogs are just like, like they lose their shit, which is pretty amazing. So I'm excited to see them. So I'm going to do that. And uh, the next clip will be wherever I am along the behind the scenes journey of getting home today. You know what I need. I need that coffee, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna hit the drive-through real quick. So I don't know if you've ever really thought about this, but Dave and I travel a lot, whether it be by a car, whether it be in the truck to go get something, whether it be by a plane, a train. <laughs> it's a lot. I always feel bad because my exhaust system is always so loud, even at idle. I would imagine it's not quiet when uh, they have the headsets on at these drive through windows. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can I please check in? Yeah, can I please just get a, a Grande Nitro Black? Nitro Cold Brew, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I couldn't really hear you. What'd you say again? <laughs> she can't hear me. Right I'm now. sorry, my car's loud. Um, it's all good. Can I please get a Grande Nitro Cold Brew Black? Got it. Anything else? That's it. 545 at the window. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like it's revving too. Like when you first turn a Lamborghini on, most supercars, sounds like you're like actually purposely revving it. Got my coffee, halfway done. Starting to feel a little more awake at the HQ. We got quite the lineup of cars here. The cop car, which has been sold by the way, to our very good friend Nico over in the UK. So we gotta get that shipped off. And then of course we have the boys cars here, the tire slayer. The van, by the way, is gonna get fixed up. The Hummer is in front of the door. Let's go check on everyone, see how everyone's feeling today. Checking in with the boys and the first person I found was this sexy son of a bitch right here. Now, this uh, is a problem if I'm gonna learn how to. It's, it's missing something important. Yeah, there. very important. So these guys, while I head home, are gonna work on putting this together. So the build series of Tim putting the engine back in this will continue. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. He's got some really cool things to talk about as they go through the progression of putting this back together. And I think for all the guys that like the technical side of stuff, you're gonna really like this, especially if you're a BMW enthusiast. So in the meantime, Tim can't do anything though until he finishes something. So walk us through what you're gonna do on this motor. Um, I gotta do the cam timing. So um, obviously if you guys have been watching the- This one or the one down here? Uh, so, is this the good motor or is that the good one? Motor? Well, this is still a good motor. So what happened was the cam, one of the cams seized okay. and it had like a little cam tower thing. So pieces that actually bolted on into the head, which is different than a lot of engines where it's just straight bored through and the cam sits directly in the head. So I'll take your word for it. Yeah, we, we kind of got lucky. It was okay. just one side. It was parts we could just bolt off and bolt on from another engine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bolt those on, make sure everything lines up, do the cam timing, which is basically there's lobes on the cams. Okay. spin around, they open the valves, let the air in. Can we see let them? the air out. I, I genuinely, I'm not joking you guys. I like to drive cars. I genuinely don't know how engines work. I know the basics, but I don't understand how they, how it, it's different from different types of engines. So if we can get a quick uh, visual on this, I'm going to try to learn something and I hope you guys appreciate this. Oh man, how many of you both are 
pretty quick, man. Let's spin in those with your fingers. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. You don't need an impact gun. Done. Okay. So, show me. All right. So, um, here is one of the cams over here. Cam there. Um, that is the exhaust cam. So, that one runs directly in the head. So, these are parts that are like half mooned out and caps. Yeah. So, they make a round spot for the cam to ride. Okay. Um, this cam is very unique to this engine. So this actually changes the rocker ratio and uh, at lower RPM, lower parts model, just opens the valves a little bit so it's more efficient. But we block this thing open. So we've got this thing here. So it's full, like basically big cam all the time. So that part's fine. And then- Why would you here, do that? Uh, for race car. So for just because race car. Because race car. Read the hat. That's right. You so. YSOB. <laughs> so this actually is where the other cam rides up here on these little towers and the cam will go through okay. this section. So that's what got, um, that's what got messed up because there's a small piece of silicone in one of these little oil passages. That's it, that's all it takes? A little piece of silicone. So, yep, that just completely seized that cam, so. That's crazy. Yeah, so now we're gonna take the other cam from the other engine and the cam tower, bolt it all back together, okay. do the cam timing. Then we're gonna pour oil in this thing. Mm -hmm. And because this thing is self-contained, it doesn't have an oil tank externally. Okay. Um, oil filter, everything is on the engine. So we can actually crank this over while it's on the stand and make sure that we're getting oil to the cams up here. So all of this stuff gets lubricated. Can you do that manually? Uh, we'll put the starter on it. Yeah and uh, hook a battery pack up to it. Yeah, don't mind my dumb questions. Over. I genuinely don't know. Yeah, so you need like 500 RPM or so of the engine spinning oh, to be able like to create enough oil pressure. Oh, like you need real pressure, okay, yeah. yeah. So, I didn't know if you do the whole like trick where you like put you a can, thing you on the end, you it. could crank it, but it wouldn't get enough. Yeah, if, you know, do 10 RPM or something. Yeah, I wouldn't you tell would you. start to move oil, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Especially if the oil's cold. It, it's a lot thicker. It's a lot thicker, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do all of this, and the reason why you're doing it is because Tim doesn't have to do this. Exactly. Fair so enough. So I will do and then, it, I'll dial it in. Okay. And then so you, hand it off to him. Fair enough. So that's what he's gonna do in the meantime, but then get excited for this getting handed off to Tim, and Tim will walk you guys through basically putting this whole car back together, which is really exciting for me because it's really nice of Michael to bring this car and allow me to drive it because he is trying to sell it. If anybody wants to buy it, you can try to buy it out from under me. I dare you to try that. Um, won't go very well for you. <laughs> um, I will outbid you just like the, uh, the ring. So guys, start, bidding now. start bidding now. <laughs> yeah. Michael would love that. A oh, bidding war awesome. on his car, but we'll, uh, we'll drive it in the meantime and maybe that'll create some more excitement and maybe somebody will want it. Uh, especially because it'll be my very first really pro level drift practice car that I'm going to be consistently driving yeah. with a pro formula drift champion driver coaching me. So. How good of a driver am I? I don't know. I have to learn so many new things. It's very much like driving the Evo 2 race car, and I'm very green at that. Yeah. I have to learn now the other skill set. It's and a there's... lot of very, very specific techniques that yeah. you use in drifting, especially with a car. With your feet like and your hands all car. at once. Oh yeah, everything, right? Oh. You're, you're actually running three pedals at once. I was two, watching that. Feet, right? I was watching some of your onboard uh, footage that you had back in the day where it shows your feet, the split screen. Yeah. And you show the feet and the, like basically your hands, but out the windshield yep. and what that's all doing. And it makes no sense to me. So good luck trying to teach me. It's a, uh, it's one step at a time. Ah, that's how I learned to walk. Yep. Okay. I'll leave you to that. Thank you for doing this yep. and stay tuned for the build series. You guys we will hand this off to Tim. This is only going to take what? A few hours today, right? Yeah, four hours, minutes, about four hours to get the cams dialed in, put the oil in it, crank it over, make sure it's all good. So by tomorrow, hopefully, Tim Tomorrow's will be able to put start putting this in. Putting this in. So the build series is coming really quick. So in the next four or five days, we'll have some build series content for you guys on this. And then shortly after that, probably just after Christmas, when we do a track day, yeah. which we're figuring out, we'll get this thing out on to uh, a track because it's gonna need a shakedown and all the tuning and dyno runs. It's gonna be pretty badass. Yeah. Because this thing for the lack of a better word. Yep. If you haven't seen the video of Michael driving this car at Hoonigan's Burnyard at Tire Slayer Studios in Compton, it's really cool. In fact, I watched it again last night. It's a badass. And he's just slaying tires all over the place. And then Vin gets in, he's like, dude, the water temp's not even up. And he's like, because race car. That's right. Rear mounted radiator, baby. All right. fucking point. Dude, I got a fucking concussion. Later. 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 Later.
Later. Enjoy uh, six days of peace and quiet, and then I'll be back to harass everybody. Six days? I should probably go, though, because um, my flight board's in, like, 25 minutes. So. <laughs> 25? I thought you boarded in 10 minutes. What time is it? 12.20. It's 12.20. Yeah, I board at 12.30. <laughs> All right. Well, See you guys. See you in a half hour. All right. <laughs> Step one, Uber. Then airport. Hopefully, I make it to my flight on time. What's up, man? Hi, thank you. How are you? Good. Good dog. Thanks, boss. I appreciate you. Air Canada. I'm actually cutting this really close right now. No BS. Thank you, boss. This is actually pretty legendary. I do this all the time and cut it pretty close, but I'm literally three minutes from boarding, and thank goodness security is not a long lineup. Look at it. How's that for law of attraction? There's like nobody in the security line. Amazing. So that's my bird. That's my ride home. She's looking good. I made it. I haven't even started boarding yet. I'm gate two now. Vancouver. We're back. Well, I'm in Vancouver. Passport control customs is next. And then I've got about an hour and 10 minutes until I catch the little flight to Kelowna. And like that, I'm home. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Look at this beautiful view of the lake. We got all the Christmas lights on because my wife is on top of that. But I know she texted me earlier and her new favorite Christmas tree she just bought, the viral tree, apparently has gone haywire. And uh, it's stuck on like one light mode. And when she called Home Depot where she bought it, they told oh, the puppies. Hi, hi guys, Roma and Dino. Hi guys, are you excited? Haven't seen dad in a couple weeks. Hey babe. So excited to see me. What's up, guys? What's up? Hi, the room. The deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, so many kisses. Oh. Hi, babe. You want, you want a kiss after that? I just got licked on the lips. Hi, Presley. What's up, beautiful? I'm on the floor. Sorry. You had a good day at school, I heard. Pretty amazing stuff. You had your own bracelet store. I made $91. Whoa! Yes, that's so. Sir, what happened? I mean, we're not. We're not lighting the Christmas tree. Christmas tree. The Christmas tree's not on, hey? It is not. <laughs> when you need to get the viral Christmas tree, and then the viral Christmas tree comes with a recall because it catches on fire. <sighs> hmm. 